Hey YouTube, Meep Magnet here. Uh, welcome to episode 8 of our Feed the Beast uh, continuum. Quick start, quick tips and tricks. Uh, today we're talking about uh, assembling drawers, the drawer controller, and compacting drawers. Let's take a look at what we've got going here. I've already set this up last episode that the components weren't quite done, so I ended it. But now that stuff's all done. Uh, got this set up. I've kind of moved this stuff outside uh, for more of a mass storage area once I tear all this stuff apart. Um, a lot of the crafting area is going to go along here. And some of the machines and stuff are going to end up going out this wall once I get enough cobblestone to make that happen. Uh, there is a, a machine that has been a real pain in the ass, I guess, as far as building goes. And that's a compacting drawer, this stupid ass thing. It is handy. Um, but still a uh, pain in the ass. Uh, the reason for that being uh, Where'd you go here? That's a lot of blocks. That's a, that's a lot of cobblestone to just burn uh, to make this happen. So this is part of the better questing stuff. So keep that in mind if you're gonna do this compacting drawer. Um, you're gonna need some compressed cobblestone to do that. So I've already kind of got this stuff set up um, the way this works. So I've got a couple basic drawers just sitting here. Typically that's all I ever use because the biggest push I have is to get to AE2. This might take a long time to get there. However, um, they are handy. There are special uh, drawers that, that can go on here and some upgrades for it. But let's kind of talk about what's going on here. So your drawer controller, um, it's, I think it's a 25 by 25 and this sits in the center. So you can have a big network of drawers here in it, and it all interfaces through this controller. Uh, the way this works, and we can pull this stuff out. So let's say that we've got an empty drawer here. You can put this stuff in there by a right click. So a single right click that put in my whole inventory or that whole uh, slot of redstone in there. Now if you shift right click, actually I think you have to put the whole thing in there. So what I've got going here, and this is a little bit different from what I remember, but it still works really well. Once you right click the inventory in there, every time you single left click, you'll start pulling stuff out. And sometimes it registers as a double. I think my mouse is just a piece of shit. Um, but anyway, right click, put all that stuff back in there, but shift left click, you pull a whole stack out, a whole stack at a shot. So that's kind of how that works. And you can do this by basic drawers. There are locks and stuff to keep you from manually pulling this stuff out or moving it at all. Um, you can kind of mess with it. Um, I won't do that now, but eventually later I'll probably go through some of that stuff. Um, yeah, there's there's keys and there's all kinds that you can hide it. There's upgrades, but we're going to go over the, just the basics for right now and leave probably some of the, the more complicated stuff for later on. But let's take a look at this drawer controller. Let's take some of this stuff out of here. The cool thing about this thing is you don't have to actually find the drawer. Let's say you've got a whole friggin' wall of this shit and you don't know, like, oh, fuck, where is my redstone? I don't want to have to put that away manually and go dig it out because I've got a whole pile in there. I don't need it. I just picked it up. I just want to put it away. So I throw it in the drawer controller and that's it. It already went back there. 16 sitting there. Um, 33 sitting here. Ah, oh, shit, I can't find the coal. I got 33 in there. Throw that in. Now you're at 37. Um, and you can sign up, kind of see the status up, up at the top there. Uh, cool thing about these drawers is that if you shift and click these bad boys, pulls it all out. If you shift and right click it, you get access to the upgrades that are in here. So I've got an upgrade template and you'll have one too if you follow the better questing stuff. This upgrade template you can change into a bunch of different stuff. And it is expensive. Let's check out the upgrade templates. So here's the template. Here's the storage upgrade. This is the base one. This is going to be copper. And you're stuck making copper chests. Now copper is pretty abundant. Uh, it shouldn't be a big deal. But once you start getting into like iron chests and then gold chests especially, there's diamond, emerald. These are the big ones. But you're, you're required to have obsidian chests for these, which aren't really all that hard to make. They're just kind of convoluted, I guess. More diamond. Not really worth it in my mind, especially when you've got all this storage available to you. Um, 
wood's cheap, and like I said, I keep in, keep on going on about, you know, get that fucking wood. Keep doing it, because it's pretty easy to organize this way. So that's for, then you can actually see what's in here. Uh, what else can we talk about here? One of the other cool things about this drawer controller is that, let's say we've already got, let's put these both back in here and let's just pull a few out. So let's say I've got a whole inventory of stuff sitting along the wall here in these drawers and you just went on a successful mining trip down the basement, come back up. Uh, you want to get rid of all this shit real easy. All you got to do, double right click this drawer controller and it's going to pull that stuff out. Watch the redstone and the coal on my hot bar there. Gone. And it's all put away. No problem. It's all set. It's all organized. And you don't have to worry about it. So, This loot box or loot chest is what I pulled out of there for uh, better questing. So it's just some wood again. Let's talk about this compacting drawer. So this thing is kind of cool. Now let's go take a look at... Let's use iron. Iron will be a good example of this. So this compacting drawer is expensive to make, in my mind. Um, there's a lot of fucking around involved with getting a lot of triple compressed cobblestone. That's a lot of cobblestone. Even though you should have it, but if you're building bases and, and increasing your space like I've been doing, yeah, it gets to be kind of a pain. Let's put that in there. So I whipped this iron in here. And let's take a look at what we've got here. So if you shift and right click this, it's kind of the same stuff as the other drawers, but you can see we've got some options here. So I put those in as ingots, but we can pull it out as blocks. So you can pull out blocks of iron, regular ingots, or nuggets. So let's just pull one of these out. And we can do that from the top here. So I ended up with two I shouldn't have. Let's, let's try this again. What the hell's going on here? There's one. My, my mouse is being a piece of shit. Um, but pulled out one block of iron. Let's shift and right click here again. You can see this. All the numbers are recalculated. It's fine. It's no big deal. So let's break this down again. Put this back in. Let's do it through the controller. Put all that stuff back in there. Shift right click. Then you can see it. It all goes in however you want to convert it. We can pull this out. We can pull out a whole stack of nuggets. Check it out. This stuff's all, still all in here. Double click it back, back in and it's all back. So this is handy, especially if you need to do a lot of conversions. Um, I can think of nickel and some iron. This, this could be handy for iron, especially if it's upgraded. Depends on how you want to do it. So that's there. This is one of the different style drawers. I think this is called a 1x2. Let's go take a look at how some of those are made. I think I've got enough stuff here to, to get this done. So all these start with some sort of chest in it. So your basic is going to be a single, and that kind of just looks like that. So that's that's your basic drawer, 32 stacks per. Let's take a look at, I think we can make a double here. I think this is the way this one goes. So this is a, a one by two. Um, let's go throw these out here and kind of see how they look. So here's another basic. I'll put him down there. And I've got a couple 1x2s. So here's a 1x2. So this must be... This is something else. We can get those though. The way these work, we could stack these. It's just two different items. Pull that out. And one of the more complicated ones, I think they call this a two by two. I think this is how they work. And you end up with four of these bad boys. So this is a two by two. And I'm gonna end up reorganizing here a little bit, but that's okay. So four different items here. The thing about these is that the stack limit, if you shift, shift and mouse over these, stack limit is eight. So eight per drawer which isn't a big deal it's just really easy to get stuff organized and I think there's one more drawer here that we want to look at and I think it's not these half drawers I don't ever use those you can if you want I think these are no I think that's it yep yep 
that's it. So that's pretty much the drawer system and the way that works. Um, definitely check these out. I haven't even gone through all this stuff since it's changed. You can definitely go through and experiment with some of this stuff. Um, I like to take in and figure out how to display this inventory in a way that makes sense. Usually have some crafting tables back here. It just makes it easy. Do what works for you. What you'll want to do is get this stuff set up um, and use it, especially if you hate chests like I do. I absolutely despise having any of these things around. They're just kind of a necessity. I mean, look at all this shit in here that's got to go. So next episode, you will probably see most of this shit being out here. Um, I'm going to start tearing down some walls and then get back into getting some power generation going. So let's talk about this quick. Um, just do a little bit of a summary here of this flowing power quest. We're going to end up creating some flux duct, which isn't all that expensive. We're going to end up creating a couple generators, so coal generator and then a survival. These aren't too bad. Um, let's actually look up, whoops, let's look up what we've got going for the coal generator. So a lot of gold again. I'm looking for six, ten, and then some iron. Let's take a look at the survival. This one is significantly cheaper, just some tin. Aluminum's expensive because it's kind of rare, but it shouldn't be too bad. More iron casing. Typically I build the survival one first just because you can break it and drag some RF around if you need to. But the real bitch of these is going to be this stupid ass thing. So these are expensive. We'll get to those. The sawmill. I think this is probably the next thing you're going to want to build. It's going to be the next thing I build just so that we can get a little more out of our lumber that we're constantly pulling out. Uh, and I think... The RF generation on there or on the, the clockwork is enough to make this thing roll for a while. So I'm going to end up doing this next. Probably get some flux duct going so I can kind of reorganize a little bit over there and get this base in order. And then um, probably go from there because I really want to get to this thing so we can start doubling some, some of those ores that are coming out of there. So I think that'll do it for this episode. We'll catch you next time.